Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pro mixed martial arts bout at three five minute rounds. It's for the UWC British title fight. We have Phil DeFries fighting at heavyweight with a record of 6 0 and 0. He's out of the Dungeon BJJ camp in Sunderland. His opponent tonight will be Stav Economou, who is a heavyweight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the main event of the evening? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is for the UWC British Heavyweight title. So please welcome the first fight into the ring. He weighed in at 110 kilograms. He has an unbeaten professional record of six wins with no losses. Representing the dungeon, BJJ, from Sutherland, Phil DeVries! Josh, now we're here at the main event. We have Phil DeFries with a, he's undefeated. I mean, what else can you say? Yeah, and he's undefeated by all six fights, all first round submissions. This guy is incredibly slick with his BJJ. But How he, is he gonna stand up ooh, to the chin? Immediately, he goes for a shot, however. Oh, uh, obstacle pull guard off it though. Dav was immediately ready for it, hipped in, turned him, and now he's top position. However, he is in DeFries's guard. Now, Stav has fought big guys. His last win coming uh, against Bob Sapp in Bob Abu Dhabi. Sapp. Yeah. The giant killer is his nickname. Oh, looking for the <laughs> overhook triangle setup is Phil DeFries. Now look at the use of the head, grinding it into the face of, uh, again, and these are just little things that can, you know, maybe uh, make your opponent move to a different uh, way or open up a gap so you can try to pass or do other things. Yeah, Phil DeVries is by far the taller of the two fighters. He's got a good three to four inches. Looking for the hip bump sweep. It's going to be hard to hip bump sweep 125 kilos of Stav Economou. And Stav swimming in with the punches over the top. DeVries not getting hit with anything solid. Knee comes no, up for shuck, a block. Shucking them off really quite nicely there. Saying that, that one landed flush and he catches him on the chin. Economou, now 
Crazy Bear oh, looking to pass, and that, that was, was a, a big shot. hard shot. Wow, that's encouraged Phil De Vries to get back to the feet. I'm not sure laying in the open. Wow, oh, big overhand there. De Vries showing that he has some punches. Immediately in dropping. Going to get warned for holding the shorts here. And Stav well, immediately feeds in for an over-under yes, position to freeze up, up against up really the cage. Really nicely there. Very nice foot stomp there by the big man. And a possible... Searching for the guillotine again. Yeah, but Stav has got that huge bull neck. It's going to be hard to make that yeah, connection. It's a but lot of that, weight to lean up against someone here as well. But he's got the connection. He does have that arm in. Now let's see if he can get Stav on his tippy toes. Any kind of neck crank here. Goes to the ground, he's got to immediately pass into that side mount position. He cannot be allowed uh, to stay in the DeFreeze guard. Both guys very calm here in the first round. Now this staff is grimacing. You can see it on his face here from the shot. I don't know, I don't yeah, know if the fans can see Yeah, he really does look home. like he's perhaps in some trouble. You can't, oh, I'm not sure I agree with that stand up by the referee. Well, but, you know, that's the fight and that's the way it goes. One over, one under. Big shot. Again, Stav. Now, Stav has to be careful because his head is leaning low. We've already seen DeFreeze go for that guillotine choke, and he made it look painful. So Stav has to be aware of that and keep his head up yeah, high. Stav's showing really good defensive wrestling every time Phil DeFreeze changes level, and he is changing level very well and very aggressively. Stav manages to meet it with those underhooks. Now Stav has got his thumb and forefinger in the crease of that arm, so that way that uh, DeFreeze can't fully get the arm up and under. Leg trip, possibly. However, head do, dips down low, and once again, shots off the break by DeFreeze. DeFreeze changes level, shoots the double, Stav. Wow, he really gets deep in on the hips, but Stav just able to, to just and shovel him back up. It's a up. very fluid change of levels. It's a very fluid yeah. shot. He gets in very deep. However, he's only connected with one so far. I think I'm right in saying, Pierre, this is a very important match in the UK domestic heavyweight scene uh, and really a, a fight that uh, a lot of people are going to be very happy to see but the beautiful, takedown is successful. Beautiful hop over, beautiful yeah. hop over there by Def he's uh, in the side mount now cross facing Stav so he can't turn in however Stav gets to all fours looking for a shot of his own. Well it's going to be hard to uh, keep, oh looking for the Bravo choke possibly, oh spinning to the back really nice fluid top game into mount. Now De Vries is start using that shots here. Pound. Stav looking to get off fours. Oh, Hits nice the sit out. sit out attempt. Hits the sit out. However, I don't know if you notice it. De Vries is just body surfing him. Yeah, he's able his, to get that position. It's very nice. Fluid top control is very lovely. nice top control. I'm really impressed with this guy. This is the first time I've seen him, and he's showing very good shapes. He's showing that he knows his way around the floor. I think if he went, uh, if he tried to go strength for strength against Stavakonimu and play a very aggressive iron coffin top game, that wouldn't be the way to go. It's hard to keep someone with the, the body mass of Stav and the strength of Stavakonimu on their back, so he's doing the right thing. He's employing what we like to think of as small man jujitsu. Now that's a very good point. Big man jiu-jitsu is the heavier guy on top, making the small man carry his weight for the duration of the round. Kasuda, oh, big round and pound there. Wow. Well, um, I think that is a good round for Phil De Vries. Um, now, Stav is going to have to go back to the corner, have to readjust his game. I'll tell you what, that didn't at all go the way that he planned. De Vries weathered the storm on some big shots by Stav, immediately changing that level, able to connect on two of the takedowns, Smooth, smooth transfer that double leg, dumping him onto the back. And I tell you what, he doesn't stay in one position for long on the ground. No, that's uh, the sign of, uh, of a, a higher level uh, BJJ game is that ability to recognize, right, the other guy's moving, now I've got to hit that transition, go to the next position and just sequence between them. It's a stubbornness of trying to stay in one position that often leads to losing the fight. Now, Stav, uh, Stav's weight has been a non-player in this bout. He's got to get that in there. He's got to weigh heavy. You can weigh heavy on the stand-up. Put your chest slightly higher, weigh down on the opponent. On the ground, he needs to be in that top position, and he needs to smother him with his weight advantage that he has here. And with that smothering, that's going to open up other things for Stav to try and attack. Well, I tell you what I've just noticed on the left arm of Phil DeFries is an Alliance tattoo. Alliance are the top competition BJJ team in the world right now. And, uh, you know, if you love your BJJ enough to get to the stage where you're having your club tattooed on you, 
you know, this guy really must train every single day. Now, Stav with a nice slam. Now, again, Stav's in that top position. He needs to pass that guard, or he needs to secure that half guard. Now, look at this. Immediately, DeFries turning the tide gets the reverse, and now he has Stavs back up against the wall, and he's feeding them small shots. This guy is super impressive, Josh. Yeah, Stavs' traditional game plan is to uh, get those big slams and takedowns and land vicious ground and pound. However, Phil DeFries definitely has the upper hand on the floor here, looking to take the back of Stav Economou. So, you know, Stavs look for a, a slight shift in game plan. Now look at the big oh. shot there from Stav, uh, excuse me, from DeFries. DeFries is starting to land those this shots. Is, this is gonna be a tight mount, knees pinched, feet tucked in, starting to work the arms up away from the body, create that disconnection in the frame of Stav Economou. Oh, and that shot, did you hear it reverberate here through the leisure center? My God, that was a heavy-handed shot by DeFries. Phil DeFries has a lot of time to work here in Mount. You can guarantee there is no way he's going to be giving up this position easily. Stav needs to at least, you know, be aggressive and try to progress. Oh, there's a back shoulder lock half. opportunity here. However, he's content to oh, throw nice the shots, ground loosen and them up. The referee giving Stav every opportunity here. Stav's come. Now he needs to push, you know, he needs to get to that half card. He needs to hit a reverse because whatever oh, he's doing. Oh, big no, no, elbows oh. coming in now. The big problem, shots. The problem Stav has oh, got. Oh, and now he may have a stoppage here. He is really working the ground and pound. Look, floating over. Now he's going to take the back possibly. Stav is covering up on the, all the, fours. The problem Stav's got is that Phil DeFries is so aware of his positioning that he's not going to be reckless with his ground and pound and give up the chance to, to lose the position. And it's hooks in now, Jim BJJ man. Now look at softening this. Softening up for the rear naked choke. And he may have he's a got the cable here. grip, he the may damn have the seven on here. the chin. And a small cut of Stav Economy here. Stav is wow. trying to grit there it out. There is blood coming this from the eye of Stav Economy. This could be a possible stoppage here. Stav is going to have to grit it out. He's going to have to dig deep and Stav really Economy push it out. is a warrior of the highest order because Phil DeFries is piling it on from back control here. And he, a round of applause, the crowd is going crazy at the defense here by Stav Economou. Oh, and lovely transition back to mount by Phil DeFries. This is absolutely slick Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Now, anywhere the staff goes, DeFries is there, and there a second or two before him, and he's beaten him, um, not to the punch, but he's beaten him to the position here in the second round. His positioning is virtually flawless. Obviously, fighting someone with the body type of Stav Economou uh, is something that's very hard to Look prepare for. Look for a possible straight arm bar here. Wow, I'd love to know how much time is left, because I think Stav could do with a couple of seconds to recuperate here. Hooks in. Phil DeFries is just not letting up in any way, shape, or form. Searching for the head and arm choke. But back to Mount here. Oh, big, big elbow elbows. shot just rained down on Stav. Stav has got to better his position. Position must be everything here He's in the second. He's not giving up in the slightest. He's crawling back to his knees, changing position, forcing the chin. But this looks deep. I this think could I heard be the 10-second clacker. This could be the end if he doesn't make the bell. And look at oh! he has got the tap. And Phil DeFries has tapped Stav Economou at the very tail end of the second round. That is an impressive performance from the Sunderland man. Tell you what, this guy is a force to be reckoned with in the UK heavyweight division. This was a story of Stav Economou running on pure adrenaline and heart versus the technical ability to shut his game down by one field to freeze. He looked like a human blanket out there. And I'll tell you what, the guy, ladies and gentlemen, is no joke. Welcome, Phil DeFreeze to UWC. Thank you. 